Hello. Um, today I wanted to show you how I make the how I made the brooches. I was very, this was um, an ob, uh, piece that I was always running from. I didn't like to do it. I didn't want to do it. I didn't understand how to do it until I was I figured it out. And I I didn't like flash like I figured it out. I just um, watched some tutorials and I was like, oh, okay, this is how it's made. I'm gonna show you these I made last night. I made this one first and I, I was like oh this is very very pretty let me just make another one and then I made this one um, this one has uh, the ends a little bit loose but I think it looks beautiful nonetheless this one is a little tight so it's a little wavy this is how it looks on the back this one as well Okay, so these are the, the ones I made and today, uh, today I want to make one with uh, black, with black uh, inside uh, for my mom. She always wanted me to make her these, but I always ran from them, so I, I didn't. <laughs> uh, so now I guess, I guess it's time. I think it, they look pretty decent in order for me to actually make a pretty one. Okay, so I'm going to show you materials that I used. First, you need a, let me try to take it, a cabochon. I'm gonna use this. It looks like a, um, I forgot how it's called. The thing you close your clothes with, uh, but it has no holes. The back has to be flat, so the back has to be flat. You can use anything, any shape, any, any anything. Just the back to be uh, flat. So I'm gonna use this one. You need one of one one cabochon. You need the beads to embellish. Now I'm using uh, for this area here. I I'm gonna use some uh, 11 o delicas. Then I'm going to use some 15 o tojos. Uh, some um, 11 o tojo and some. Um, Three millimeter pearls but you will see that when it comes to embellishment you can use anything absolutely anything works now you mandatory need to have one of this um, this is hardened felt I don't know I googled it uh, I know in my language I'm not sure that this is how it's uh, in English I felt I, this is the material but I, I don't know if it's called hardened or anything idea is that it's um, harder it's not you see, it's not very, it's easy, it's not stiff, stiff, but it's hardened. So it's hardened felt you need. Uh, you need one of these thingies, the, um, the um, needle to, you know, to put in the back. And you need um, something, people use leather. Uh, I feel weird using leather, so I choose not to. I use this, um, I have no idea how it's called. But this is what I use. Maybe you can figure it out how it's called. Uh, it's a very, very lit. It's exactly this one, so it's not like you don't see it. Maybe leather looks better, but um, yeah, I, I say no to 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 that. Even if it's artificial, it just just feels weird. So these are the materials, and of course you need the um, thread and needle. Like these are like basic thread and needle. Uh, oh, yes, yes, and you need glue. I'm using, oh my god, I'm using this. It's like, I don't know, it's like, just just use a strong glue. What glue you feel that it's strong, just use that one. Whatever you feel it's good, just use it. Now, you will need, I already have one prepared. I already have one prepared, but I'm going to tell you what to do. I'm not going to cut again, because I'm not going to make two. So, you need to put the... Um, cabochon that you're gonna use like this like okay this is the corner i'm gonna use it like this and you cut with the scissor around it like leave one centimeter around it like this you know just cut it with the scissors after you cut it i have a little piece here somewhere yes after you cut it is not like let's you can work even if it's like this you can work with it like if it has a little bit it just a little bit has to have on the side uh, after you cut it, I don't know how, I mean, I think I need to put, 
more light hopefully this is better so because it's dark their colors are very hard to hard to see after you cut it you just uh, glue it glue it glue it on the felt and uh, you have you have to leave it i leave mine like half an hour something like that just to make sure it's very good glued and it's not um it, it will not move even though we we strengthen it with the beads just to make sure that when we work you know because you will hold it and you will work with it that it doesn't uh, this lighting is bad my lighting is bad very bad lighting i'm sorry so yeah these are the materials you need and um yes i'm going to uh, prepare my uh, beads and stuff and uh, we can uh, start okay so i prepared my beads my delicate beads uh, I threaded my needle and I made a knot at the end. I'm sorry I chose the dark with dark, but this was the project I was I wanted to make and I didn't think that it would be so uh, bad uh, hard to see. But I will make uh, I will make another one like uh, this is round for example and I will make one that's like uh, like this oval, you know, like lighter colors. I have I actually have a, a very pretty cabochon that I'm going to uh prepare. Okay, so first of all, you uh, you have to put uh, go with the needle in the back, but come in the edge of the. I don't know if you see my needle. It's on the edge of the of the stone. See, it's moving. You just come with the thread. Now pick up two delica beads. And now, how I do it? I hold my work like this, like front. I don't, I honestly don't know what you can see, but, and you go approximately with where would those two would fit. See, I I say that this is the size that they would fit, and I just put it in there. And now I pull slowly so I don't uh, make any um, how you say knots. Now I go from bottom in between these two just have to pay attention where it is so in between these two beads that i put right now i go with the needle and i pull the thread okay and now i will pass the uh pass the needle through the second one like through one of these where i want to go like i want to make a circular um uh, round of delica beads all so all around and i'm going to go like this so i'm going to pass through this one and i'm just going to pull see how nicely i don't know i don't know what how much you can see but it's there now again we pick up two delica beads and again we check and see about how big this one is about that size i'm going to go again with two Two beads again and i'm going to slowly pull the thread arrange them go from under in the in between the two the two beads and again uh, pull uh, go through the 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 last one so the the way we're, we're going i'm going to show you again and then i'm going to come back when it's uh, all done i don't know how much you can see i'm going to try like this hopefully uh, maybe 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 it's better it was a very bad color choice honestly bad bad color choice but i will make a new one so again pick up two delica beads and you go where you think that it will but try to be on the edge of the cabochon. On the edge of the cabochon, you just oh, there is the there is the uh, place where I want to put, and you just go. And don't make knots like me. Like this, and now you go from under in between the last two. In between the last two you put and go through the last bead and 
I'm gonna do it one more time. Pick up two delica beads. Measure the where you think they would fit. Put them in. Go through the thread between the two beads. And pass through the last one. So you do this all around. Just make sure you're always going to put two. So even when you're at the end, check how you have to arrange them, like a little bit more loose, a little bit more squeeze, so that they are in pairs. So I will come back when it's all rounded up. Okay, so I finished my um, my uh, uh, round. I put the last two in. Now I just have to go through the back these are my last two and i'm going to go through the last one and the first first one that i uh i did like the the first bead go through two beads now you make sure nothing is Tangled. Since I think I tangled something. Okay. So now we have this. What does this look like? This looks like a rivoli. So from now on, we just bezel a casual rivoli. Now, we will do one round of peyote stitch because it's double it's uh, even it's even count so we can just do we will can work like this it's gonna it's even worse to see what i'm doing so we're going to work like this hopefully it's something visible and we're going to do peyote so we're going to uh, from the one we're exiting we're going to skip one and put the bead through next one. Again, skip one, put the bead through the next one. So we're just doing peyote. That's what we're doing here. I'm gonna do one more and then we will see each other at the end of the at the end of the row. So you just do normal peyote stitch like you would um, uh, bezel a uh, rivoli. You have to do it all around. Okay, so I finished my second round of uh, my first round of peyote. And it looks like this. Now you can leave it like this because the the stone the cabochon it won't drop because you glued it you glue it. So you can even leave it like this. It's okay, you don't have to do anything more like on in Rivoli, you are supposed to do one more round of smaller ones, then another round just to hold it in place. Now, this is not, this is not the situation here. You don't have to, you can just leave it like this if you want to. I'm going to do one more round of um, 11 O's, but before that, I'm going to cut this part because this bothers me. And I'm going to show you how I cut it. So, I'm going to go on the back. On the back you can see where it's sewn so I have to cut uh, so I make sure that I don't cut the, the thread so I'm just going to cut uh, I'm just going to cut I'm sorry if you heard anything I forgot my TV on I'm just going to cut like two millimeters from where the the sewing is and make sure Last time I cut my thread, make sure you don't do the same as me. So don't cut your uh, working thread.
work in threading card, work in threading card. I was cutting round and round and then I just uh, realized that my working thread was uh, gone. Okay, so I cut it like this. I cut it from the back, as I said, uh, I want to see where the stitches are. And in the front I have like this. Now, what do I do? Uh, again, watch for the watch for the thread. I burn this with the, the side, but very carefully. Very carefully because um, you will hide this, like you will hide this. But I feel it's safer that uh, if it's burned because otherwise it has it has like uh, puffs and stuffs, puffs and stuffs. So I just burn the sides to give it a little better shape. And again, pay attention so you don't actually burn your work. Just softly. The sides, what you see, that's not uh, very, um, how to say, uh, even, they will, uh, you will hide those because you, you will work. So it's okay if, if it remains like this. I just made sure that that's what I burn it because now it's like, um, like glued because that's how the felt is. Okay, so. Now, after I have done my uh, my sorry my my uh, round of peyote, I'm going to put um, one round of red eleven o's. So just the same. Just if you want, you can do it. If no, it's your choice. But now you see how it comes like a dome. When you work, you have to pull the thread a bit so it um, closes nicely. So I'm going to do one row of 15 now, uh, Toho 15 now red, and then I'm going to come back. Okay, so I finished my round of uh, 11 O's. I'm going to add my last 11 now. And I'm not going to do any more inside because I think it's uh, it looks pretty. But I have to reach with my um, with my needle. I have to go. You see, you have here one two one so i have to reach uh, in the delicas i need to reach the one with one like you have two two delicas on a row then you have one then you have uh, two so it's two one two one two now i have to go in the one with one hopefully it's something visible there okay and now I'm going to start working like a uh, rivoli. I'm going to take one delica bead and I'm going to put it in the next next uh, one uh, on a row delica bead. Another. I'm not going to put it here. It's just like bezeling a rivoli. From here, you can do whatever you want. Like, you can check any bezel, rivoli, anything, and you can just do it because it's the same. So, you just do uh, one round of delicas, like this, one round of delica all around. Now, I finished my round of delicas going to put my last one so I'm going to go through this and I'm going to go up on the uh, up on the next one okay so now this is what what we have now because it's um, bigger in size even if it's 11 uh, Toho is bigger than Delica, so I'm going to make all around um, one round of um, 11 o Tohos. It's lighter color, so it will be hopefully easier to see. So I'm just going to go with one round of 11 o Toho. All around the just simply put it in because it's bigger so it's uh, it fits very nicely 
because the gaps are bigger than the beads. You just go all around and put the toho beads. Okay, so I finished uh, putting my uh, round of toho. I'm going to put my last one. Then I'm going to go through the delica and do the first toho. Now, I'm going to embellish my work. Like, um, you can do anything. Like, pretty much anything you do in the Rivoli you can do. And I seen an earring that I liked a lot. So I'm going to use that um, that pattern. So you take one 11 0 one 3 millimeter pearls, because I'm, I prepared mine, just let me find a hole. Okay. And one millim one uh, uh, 15 0 So 15 0 pearl 15 0 So this is what uh, I have to take for this pattern. And you pull it, pull, pull it down, push it down, and you skip the, you skip the red, and you go through the pearl, and you pull, and you pick up another fifteen now, and you go through the next eleven. -0. And you arrange it nicely so it goes, uh, so it sits good, so it's not wobbly or wonky. And again, 15 0 pearl. The holes on these pearls are very hard to reach, so I'm just going to have to do it slower. And another 15 0 Pull them through the work. Move the red one, the first 15 0 put it on the side, and go through the pearl. Pull, take a 15 0 and go through the next 11. -0. You just have to arrange it a little bit because it's uh, it's wonky, it's wonky and till it uh, it gets arranged. I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna come back when they're all done. So fifteen o pearl. Or you can use here a bicone or fire polish, whatever you want, and the fifteen o. We pull them down, we go back through the pearl, so we push this aside, we go back through the pearl only, oh. where is my pearl hole, okay, and we pull all down. And we take a 15 0 and we go through the next 11 -0. and we pull and we will do this all the way around okay so now i finished my uh, last decoration i'm gonna leave it like this because i think it looks cute i don't want to add any more uh, any more stuff on it Think it looks decent now we need to do the back part now how i'm going to do that i'm going to take a piece of uh, this material that i said i have no idea how it's called just gonna cut a piece okay and uh, i'm going to approximately cut around where it where it could be like around here i'm gonna and here i'm gonna cut And 
because I need it to be as big as this. So I'm just going to put it here and hold it tight. I'm just going to cut around. Did a mistake here, but it's okay. We're just pushing this. It's okay. Okay. That's pretty decent. Okay. Now. We need to take our uh, thingy thingy and put it down where we would want to have it and mark with the pen where these two ends are. So one is here and one is here. Like we're marking where this, this part is and this part is. So we're like this. No. We're going to take the little piece of thingy and make holes where we have the two markings because these ends, these have to go through this. So I did one here and one here. So I have this, it looks like this. Now I'm going to open my uh, this, my this and that and this and that. And I'm going to put put it through the hole. So it, one is through, and the other one I need to put. Maybe. not very round but it's okay so it looks like this now we need to glue this part to this part as I said I'm using this uh, weird weird glue and I'm just going to put plenty of it No. Just make sure it's somewhat in the middle. And now we leave it to dry for like half an hour. And then uh, we're going to be back to finish it off. Okay, so now after it's... Um, somewhat dry um, I put uh, I prepared the needle with the thread and I made a knot at the end and I'm going to go first in between these two in between the one that I saw this and the one that I added so I'm gonna go with the needle in between so I can hide the knot okay and now I'm just going to sew the these two the one the first one where I uh, worked the pattern and the one that I added. This is for extra, uh, so it resists better. It, uh, just going to cut this part. So, okay. So it's sure that it doesn't. Uh, um, fall apart so just sew these two together on the back side I chose the color that I chose brown even if I worked with black on the, on the pattern because uh, it's here is brown so just sew it all around and then you're going to be done 
that's that's all you have to do it's super easy like at the beginning before i before i tried to make a brooch i was like oh my god they're so hard to make um i want to try different types of brooches but for now i'm just happy that i uh figured the uh, this one out how to make it And just make sure that you don't pull any of the beads here you can um, softly go like see go pass through and that's it so you're just going to go sewing it all around and that's it you're done you have your brooch hopefully you can understand i'm going to make one with uh, better or uh, lighter color so it's more uh, visible enjoy <laughs> 